Okay, so we have another success story here with me right now, and that's Leon Leg. Hello, Leon. How you doing? You right? I'm well. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, yeah. <laughs> okay, we've got quite a bit to get through, because um, you're not just going to talk to us about football, but also something else very important. But let's start off with the, with the football, first of all. So you play for Gillingham FC. Yep. How's yeah. that going? <laughs> um, yeah, we just finished the season. Um, it was a tough season. We just got promoted to um, uh, League One. We had uh, a good season, to be fair. We finished around about 14th Brilliant. place. And okay. Yes, it's, it's, it's going it's well. Been a good, yeah, it's been a good season, yeah. All right. So have you always known you wanted to be a footballer since you were young or did you have other dreams for yourself? I've always wanted to be a footballer. Um, ever since I was nine years old, really. Yeah. Um, when I was younger, I was always, you know, always kicking a ball. When I got in from, from, foot, um, from, from school, yeah. I'd go out and play with my mates. Um, I played football at school. It was, no matter where you saw me, I'd always had a football man. So. Yeah. Okay, and were your family supportive or were they like, maybe you should do something else or what, what, how were your family? Mm, yeah, yeah, you know, um, I was always, uh, I, everyone like in my family come watch me play football um, oh, on the Sundays good. and everything and yeah. yeah, so I had a lot of support really from my family. Oh, that's really good. Now, um, it hasn't been easy for you though because at age 16 you discovered that you had epilepsy. Can you talk us through that and what happened? Yeah, it was, um, I remember like, Clearly, really, um, I was 16 years old and I was actually at football training and um, I remember heading the ball and then I, I must have just just collapsed, really. I remember waking up and just sort of seeing everyone around me, around tw 20 players around me and just looking up in the air and I just really didn't know what was going on, to be honest. That must have been really scary for you. Very scary because you... You know, the first se first seizure I've ever had, and uh, I just didn't know what happened to me really. And mm. then just remember sort of being carted off into an ambulance, and then sort of talking to the the doctors and yeah. that in the hospital. How so. did that impact your life from then on? Now that you discovered that you did have epilepsy, how did it? What was going through your mind? How did it affect you? Well, the first thing I thought, well, first thing that came to my head was really that. Like, Am I ever going to be able to play football again? That was the first thing mm. that, that, that jumped into my head. Dream, really. right? So. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, but then talking to the, the neurologist and having regular meetings with him, um, he said it was it was fine. Um, I had to really um, kind kind of get the right dosage of medication at the at the start and right. try try and get it controlled. Mm -hmm. And what about how about how did it affect your family, like? Um, well, I remember like my mum really. She she had a bit of a tough time of it because at, at the start I I did have quite a few seizures and mm. um, I remember quite a few times I'd, I'd had some bad ones as well. I remember how going, often did it happen? Well, at the start I reckon a good two a day really. Really? Yeah, wow. I remember going to bed one time. I, I was very tired and I remember going to bed one time and then waking up in the in, in, in the uh, in hospital in Gosh. the same night. So if you think about it, you, you, you go into bed and then you mm. wake up in hospital and you think, well, I'll get here. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, was, it was very scary. Right. Um, and how do you cope with it with football then? With football, really, um, you know, I've, obviously I've got to let the physios know mm. I, I, I have it. Um, them being uh, fresh professionals at their job and with, with the medical side and everything, they, yeah. they, they would know as well. Um, and the, the football clubs I've been at, they've been supportive. And if, when I have had a, a seizure at, at football, they've always known what to do. So well, That's really good. So, I mean, there might be youngsters watching that do have the same condition. They're thinking, oh, my God, my, my future's over. Not just for football, for any, anything. And they think that, you know, there's no hope for them or they can't realise their dreams, but they can. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proof of that, really. Um, you know, I've, I've had a lot of people asked me via um, and Twitter and email um, mm. how they how, how I dealt with it and sort of gave them advice and, and little tips and in, info and it has helped them. Okay, now you're ambassador for, was it Young People's? Uh, young young Epilepsy. Young Epilepsy, yeah. Okay, how did uh, that come about? Um, that actually came about, um, I was doing a, an interview for a, a newspaper and it came out in the, the next day and then all of a sudden, I got loads of phone calls from different uh, epilepsy charities, and mm. and then I done a few bits like uh, radio interviews and uh, a few articles and things mm. like that, really. And um, then young 
Young Epilepsy actually asked me if I wanted to be like an ambassador and yeah. I jumped at the chance really and Brilliant. it was a massive honour. Okay, and how, how have you been helping the youngsters then? Is it sort of telling your story and things like that? Yeah, you know, letting them know my story and how I dealt with it and like I say, like personal advice and, and tips really. Um, it's, epilepsy is very like complex mm -hmm. and there's so many different types and that with, with, every, with every person who has epilepsy, it's, it's, it's all different to that case. So mm -hmm. it, is, it is hard to, to, to pinpoint certain things with, yeah. with, with, with epilepsy and, and, and the case of that person. So. Okay. And what would, you, what would you say to a youngster that's watching now <clears throat> that has epilepsy, that maybe has just been diagnosed and they're really worried about their future, what would you say to them? Um, I'd, I'd say what I normally say really, you know, um, when, when I've had people ask me through email and things like that, it, 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 it comes down to um, what, what it is that, that can set them off to, to, to have a seizure really. Mm -hmm. So say like, for example, um, I've, I've spoke to someone who has, has a seizure when he plays too much computer games. And because oh, right. okay. it's a, a neurological thing mm. and that can mentally fatigue you if, if you're playing on a computer for so long, okay. of advising, well, if you're playing it for a certain amount of hours, you need to cut that down because otherwise you're in danger of having... They listen. <laughs> yeah, so you're in danger. But, yeah. you know, I've, I've been there, I've been a kid and... It's hard, isn't exactly it? You the same. To, you I know. used to play computer when I was younger, so... Yeah. Um, but, you know, avoiding that, it can definitely help and cut, cut the seizures down, yeah. definitely. But I can imagine a lot of kids look up to you as well, and it's great what you're doing. Yeah, it's nice <laughs> to be uh, like an idol to, to, to people who have yeah. epilepsy. And, and, and so there is, you know what, there is good that comes out of some... Sometimes, you know, life hits you with blows and you're thinking, you start to think, you know, why me? But you can always find something positive or to help other people with the same thing. So there's always something that you can do with, with certain problems that come your way with certain issues, isn't there? Yeah, there's, there's certainly ways around it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, with me, um, in, in my case, uh, for, for me to sort of avoid having a seizure, um, I have to have plenty of rest because uh, they found with me, um, I didn't used to get too much sleep. I used to okay. say have five or six hours and mm -hmm. I'll be all right. Um, but that could cause me to have a seizure, and right. so, so you just have to know I, the truth. I, I, I would, yeah. So, so, so with me, I decided. Well, if this is what making me have a seizure, I'll get, get eight hours, sleep. <laughs> get eight hours sleep instead. And it's well, a good reason feel, to get more sleep. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, if uh, I did feel fatigued, you know, little power nap or anything like yeah. that, you know. And whereas I'm, I'm playing a, a very high intense sport, then mm. you know I have to sort of kind of be careful there. Be careful. So if I felt tired like say from training or something, then I'd, you know, take a rest take a and, you okay. know. Okay, and just before you go, Leon, what are your future plans? My future plans, um, I'm hoping to uh, do coaching badge, really. Um, and I want to sort of get into media as well, so uh, a oh, few brilliant. options, really. Yeah. Okay, well, I think you're going to be great, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much for speaking to us. I'm Thank sure you've you. inspired lots of youngsters and people in general. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you.